Ooh, this is gonna be a struggle and a half for Captain Falcon. I'm I'm willing to believe that uh GNG hates this matchup. <laughs> I'm willing to believe he definitely hates this matchup and he's definitely practiced this matchup. It's, so it's probably less bad now. Uh, that uh, the P2 hurt boxes are a little bit bigger. Yeah, it is a little bit less bad. The movement options for Falcon, especially considering like projectiles got nerf on shield. Oh, for sure. It makes it a little bit of an easier time, but again, such a small hurt box, it's gonna be hard for Falcon to find these situations where he can can capitalize off of his damage. But a lot of a lot of seat or uh, grace and glory's neutral play is going to come off of not necessarily nair one but nair two nair two is going to be super good for forcing tech, cha tech chase situations oh, on sure. a small character like pichu and grace and glory doing a pretty good job with his first stock keeping even with c2 also if he can just land his combos very uh very consistent Ooh, okay c2 kind of or grace and glory kind of been in the lab a little bit trying to really optimize his oh, yeah. movement uh, in a matchup like this oh yep. yeah there we go sour spot down here the off stage though is still incredibly volatile against a character like pichu yeah for sure i don't even know if like yeah there's probably a chance that uh pichu gets low profile on down smash. did he just taunt or no that was a down smash I okay <laughs> imagine taunting your round two or like I was Where I was gonna that? say I just like, I just oh wouldn't expect him to ta taunt Grace, Grace and Glory just like that. Oh, but he is getting a little too fancy That's with this uh, back throw. Yes. Okay. I was gonna say is he gonna <laughs> actually to finish his blade? But yeah, great back throw right there that will kill on a character like Pichu so much oh. quicker. Gets uh, the side piece, the attack double cancel. grab, attack cancel back here. Wait a second, Grace and Glory. Try to stop yeah, the second Falcon. one, but he missed the first one. And oh, but that's gonna do it. Yeah, the just the raw thunder off of the up throw. But in the end, Pichu still Pichu. <laughs> oh. Oh. He's catching these stray hits though. That's the difference between me and Grace and Glory, because I would have gone for the knee like so many more times. Everyone, than he would, does. everyone goes. Everyone for the goes for the knee. I would have went not for the knee. Grace. Okay, so you see him using side B at the ledge. That's such a great mix-up tool just to, if you landed on shield. Falcon has a lot of options. He can he has so much aerial drift in order to go past or behind your shield just to mix up his options. Yeah, for sure. And it's definitely like uh mixing up the recovery Oh, Ooh. Ooh. okay. Uh mixing up the recovery height too. Because uh you know, recovering high with up E, recovering low with uh, I guess like just a air dodge or just drifting down, but you can just kind of just go in and it's kind of an offensive option. Too, mm, really okay. Nice so and especially when you're down you really need some offense going on so i can only imagine grace winning this matchup with huge amounts of cheese just just this insanely uh all right back here back here's gonna do it but yeah um mid percent like i want to say around about like 30 to 50 if he catches pichu on the platform he can just up tilt knee him like just straight up if you do like yeah. up tilt into knee like that's gonna kill pichu like around like 30 to 40 ish percent yeah 30 to 40 my goodness yeah what, what stage i think i'm i'm thinking battlefield for grace and glory uh either that or smashville but hmm. i'm not really well versed on what stages pichu likes uh, so Fal i would honestly assume that he is gonna probably go Kalos for his counter pick if he can or another big stage all right, just stay in just, PS2. Well, the main reason is because he needs a lot of room to run around to avoid yeah, for sure. uh, the fireball setups with T Jolt. So it makes sense why he's going to stay here. And honestly, this could just be a comfort pick. Yeah, a lot of people like PS2. The true yeah. neutral stage, yeah. according to some. Well, I wouldn't call it truly neutral, but it definitely yeah, is a. Uh, yeah. There's definitely a lot of merits Hashtag to a stage Falcon. like this. Yeah. <laughs> Buck Falcon, please. I'm, I'm 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 a Falcon man. I'm gonna be biased. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hide that. But right now, C2 is definitely winning these trades. Oh yeah, there was that up tilt that he was looking for. Yeah. Uh, on earlier percents though, not gonna find too much off of it, especially if they try to shield it. But regardless, Grace and Glory not doing it too bad of a job. He just needs one really good opening combo, but hey. not gonna find it. C2 gonna find the forward smash. Man, finding those openings on such a low character, that's so hard for it Falcon. It is. It's just like, honestly, I'd be looking for stomps, like really low back airs. Yeah. Maybe, I'd probably even grab more, honestly. 
Stomp is probably going to be the most reliable thing you're going to find in this sort of matchup. Just because Nair 1 is just so inconsistent to land on short characters. There, that is what I'm talking about, man. Use that up tilt as much oh, as you can. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Grace and Glory. Oh, oh he was oh, looking wow. for the tick situation with the command grab. If he I got think, the... I think he was actually thinking he was going to stay in shield. There we go. Gets the up B yeah, right there. There we go. And he's still holding on to a second stock. This is definitely doable, but he's going to have to fight his way back into neutral if he can. It's definitely... Oh! Yeah, side B too. Ooh, okay. And sometimes this Falcon, uh, it might oh, be... Oh, yeah, the payback killed him. It might be a little bit better to use your air dodge early just so you can get closer to the ledge much more quickly and not necessarily have, like, your jump loss. You see clouds or other characters with poor recovery opt to air dodge first. So, Grace and Glory's got to be a little bit more aware yeah, of that. Yeah, it's basically like a half jump. Yeah, essentially, yeah, essentially. Okay, yeah. down throw to up air, forward air, nice. Ooh, okay. Almost got the thunder hit right there, but no go. Gonna get the soft hit of the projectile. And this is really terrifying for Grace and Glory. At 100 against a P2, only at 40. Ooh, okay, F tilt for the chase. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my goodness, Grace and Glory! Grace with the down air to send oh. a message to the Shadow Realm. Please. I want <laughs> oh. I want it to happen. Ooh, Ooh here we Catches go. Up B. Just to make 25. it back. Ooh, now he's just trying to style Ooh. at this point. Oh, good air dodge. Okay. Good air dodge. And a shield. Wow, the knee! 150 that was rage. bold. Oh, the toes. He gave him the toes. Yep, and C2. Gonna take that out cleanly. Oh, R.I.P. But he didn't get the clip out of it. Okay. Grace and Glory did get the clip. Oh yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going home and clip that if he doesn't clip it himself. <laughs> but, yeah. Straight right. up, Grace and Glory taking that. I or... have to go play bracket. All right.